Welcome everybody to another mystery craft along. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today we are uh, gonna do a mystery craft along and we're here on Stamper Curls channel, Delise. Welcome. Your your mic is on now. So if you want to uh, give a quick intro of yourself, go ahead. Oops, and... So you guys heard me drinking my um. No. <laughs> Don't disclose. We didn't hear anything. You're all good. <laughs> Hi everyone. This is the Lee Stamper Girl. You can find me here as Stamper Girl. And you know what I um. Ali Dolly's at Instagram, and I still haven't decided if I want to, after I submitted the change, I don't know if I'm going to change it or not. <sighs> Mixed feelings, because now I have it linked to so many places that I don't know what to do. So um, shoot me an idea on the live chat. Um, what do you think? Should I just keep it all the same across all the platforms? Probably easier. I'm also Stamper Girl in, on Facebook. So I am so glad you guys came for the live chat and to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed and you have fun with us here on the live chat, just and in in the live crafting, just subscribe. Make me happy a little bit, even more happier. And I'm so excited that you guys decided to um to spend a little bit of time with us on the last day of 2022. Yes. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. So glad you were spending some crafty time with us. And thanks, everybody, who is joining us live. And thank you for uh, commenting and letting us know where you're from. We have crafty days here from Iowa. We've got Heather Sunflower Fields Designs from South Florida. We have, I saw a couple more people post where they're from. Becca is from Southern Florida also. Jay is here. He's from Wisconsin. Terry is here. She is from Texas. Um, Barry, welcome. Stacy, I think she's joining us from California. Uh, call me Crafty Al, welcome. Um, Meg is here, Woohoo! So many. Um, Meg is joining us from Michigan. <laughs> oh, okay. Crafty Al, I did not know you were from Nebraska. Welcome. All right. Um, oh, Jay says he's from the frozen north, <laughs> aka Wisconsin. Yes, I know where you're from, Jay, because you've <laughs> joined us before. Eventually, I'll pick up on these things. <laughs> it may take a couple dozen times, but I will get there. Um, oh, my God. Ow, it, it, it thought out here, too, in Illinois. We actually are over, like, I woke up, and it was over 40 already. I'm like, mm -hmm. that is such a big difference. I know. Yay. That's good, because I... I'm not a huge fan of the cold, I gotta admit. Okay, so while you're commenting, let Delise and I know, have you ever joined us for a mystery craft along? So put a one in the comments if this is your first time, put a two in the comments if um, you know how this goes and you've joined us before. If you are joining us on replay, welcome. Thanks for playing along. This is going to work just as well for you on replay. It'll still be a mystery <laughs> until the very end. So um, oh, we've got a lot of ones. Yay. So first time for Alicia, first time for Crafty Days. And you're here with your sister, too. Awesome. Um, first time for Jay. Awesome. Beck, I know you, Meg, Terry, have definitely joined us before. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, awesome. Heather has joined hashtag, us. Hashtag, hashtag crafty chaos, right? That's what we yes. ended up deciding. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. Welcome. Okay. Well, for as a refresher and for anyone new to a mystery craft along. This is an um, event that 
Tim actually introduced us to, at least for me, I had never heard of it before. And Tim would have loved to have joined us today, but he is actually um, has another obligation that um, he has to attend. So we'll, we'll forgive her this one time, <laughs> won't we? <laughs> <laughs> But it's awesome because um, with a mystery craft along, I am the only one who knows what we all are going to be making. And so um, that's part of the fun of it for me anyways. I like being on this end of things <laughs> where <laughs> I know what we're making. And ahead of time, I did share out the supply list and cutting guide. Now, don't worry. If you didn't get the chance to uh, prepare everything in advance, because I will go through that supply list again, and you can cut as we go, because there will seriously be plenty of time to cut and go. If you don't have things colored up, don't worry. You can definitely do that um, along the way as well. And our motto is we leave no crafter behind. Um, the beauty of doing these as live streams now is that we can actually take as much time as we need at each step. And so we'll wait. Just let us know. Uh, raise your hand in the chats if you need us to slow down or back up a step. If you're on replay, the beauty of being on replay is you can always pause <laughs> on any clue where you may want a little extra time or rewind if you need to go back. And uh, for the live stream uh, viewers, you can also rewind if you need to go back too, but I'm happy to kind of flip back if you just let me know in the chat. So as we go along, what I will do is I will um, read out step-by-step -step clues that will progress us towards our final card. And so um, if you need a hint, if you're stuck, you're not quite sure what the step means, definitely ask. My camera is right now turned off um, so that I'm crafting along with you as well. I do have some prepared pieces, but I'll be crafting along with you. And that way, if anyone needs any uh, clarification at a particular step, then I can help out. Um, Delisa's camera is on. And I guess it might be a strategy to follow her, but I will warn you, the last time we did this, um, we had to give Delisa's card a different name <laughs> because it was not quite the one that uh, we, the rest of us, were making. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, follow along with Delise, but, you know, buyer beware on that one. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, uh, if we're all ready, let's go ahead. Let's get this party started! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is the supply list. So quick recap, or for anyone who um, needs to cut on the fly, you uh, will need, and I did this time list everything uh, width by height. So we have the card base is 11 inches wide by four and a quarter high. Pattern paper one, you'll need to cut um, two and one half wide by four and one eighth tall, and you'll need two of those. From the same pattern paper, you'll want two and a half wide by one and three eighths, and you'll need two of those. From a second piece of pattern paper, you'll want two and a half wide by four and one eighth tall. Again, two of those. From either acetate or white cardstock, you'll want a piece that's four inches wide by half an inch tall. And then here, there were some questions about the acetate or the white cardstock half inch strips. So you can wait till we get to that step or um, just cut maybe a length that's say, uh, five inches would probably be more than enough if you want to cut something extra long and then just cut it down to size as we go and then um, definitely um, feel free to do that does direction matter on the cuts it does so all of these numbers are listed as the width first and then 
the height. So um, hopefully that that helps you determine which way is is uh, up for your pattern paper. Or if you want to play it safe, um, just use non-directional paper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yep, no problem, Heather. Okay, everybody ready? We're gonna start with clue number one. Okay, I do have the supply list here, so if you are cutting along, you can still hopefully see that. And I am going to um, do this so that there we go. Um, so if you want, you can, uh, Delise is in the upper corner here and um, you'll just see my avatar. My screen won't be on until and unless somebody needs a hint. So shout out in the chat. If you have questions, you need a hint, I'm happy to, to help along. Okay, so clue number one. You wanna take uh, piece number one, that was your card base that measured 11 inches wide by four and a quarter tall. And along that 11 inch edge, you wanna score it at two and five eighths, five and one quarter, seven and seven eighths, and 10 and a half. Don't fold yet, <laughs> just score. You already messed me up. What? <laughs> How? Well, I have the I I have the old score pile, so it has specific. It doesn't have all the. Oh, all it doesn't the, have one eighth. No, it doesn't. Oh, so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh, you're not. Well, not entirely, but I can't help it. <laughs> I told you I need a new score pile. I'm like, a score, not necessarily a score pile. I need a scoring platform. Okay, so. Uh, you should get the, you the, should get what I use. I love it. Uh, Renee just joined us. She says, Happy New Year's, everyone. Renee is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and Renee Giggles is here. For those who are new joining us, um, we nickname Delise Giggles because, well, you you probably already know why. <laughs> Five eight. It's gonna take me longer. Five and a quarter. <laughs> Five and a quarter. Oh, Five. Meg doesn't have one eighth either. Oh, how interesting. <gasps> I don't know why I just I just assumed everybody's scoreboard does what mine does. <laughs> All right. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't want to rush you, but just letting you know, uh, Alicia's ready. Crafty Days is ready. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. The pressure is on. Okay. <laughs> So for those who don't have one eighth inch uh, measurements on their scoreboard, you can do what Delise did. She took a ruler out. She did little pencil tick marks and all she's doing is lining up her pencil tick marks with any any score track on her scoreboard. And Meg said, yeah. I am wrong. I do have one eighth. See, it's just you, Delise. <laughs> I swear, like, I, I will even bring it up. Does anybody have the original score pop? Come on. No, see, Tell me. You if you do. I'm complaining about it because I'm like, your scoreboard look. looks fine. Yeah. Look. Yeah. yeah, that's, I'm not, uh, you, need a, you need a new one. <laughs> yeah, because um, this probably was the first batch of score pops because I needed to have the first it. Batch. <laughs> I need it. To have this and I didn't wait for the second iteration where all the improvements came yeah okay um I'm ready all right if you're ready okay let me know in the chat anybody need extra time I know Renee came a little late so let me know if we're good to move on or I should say if you need more time um let me know in the chat and we'll we'll wait a sec so Renee, it's not that I, 
So Renee, it's just that, I don't know if you can see it, like some of them, like I have the one eighth for this, and then a half for this, and then a quarter for this, but they're not all of them. I don't know why you don't have evenly spaced stuff. I think they were just thinking you were, they were trying to be helpful with some common the, score lines? Yes. Ah. See, Meg's got the upgrade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I should have waited. Terry. Terry says, I'm so old, I have to score with a painted rock. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy says, I have one that didn't have the numbers. Randon got the smaller score pal, then couldn't see the numbers. <laughs> glasses in the car. <laughs> so, oh my God, I have my glass. My husband is laughing at me. <laughs> oh. Hey, girl, that's, that's how you improvise. Oh, good. Stacy, I, I just got water coming out of my nose. Thank you for that. <laughs> I heard that. I, heard that. I, was, I was just going to let that slide. And not mention it. <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to clue number two because I think everybody's ready. All right. On the five and one quarter inch score line, you want to mark one and a half inches down from the top. Okay. And then cut along that Ooh. five and one quarter inch score line just to your pencil mark. From the top or from the bottom? From the top. Ooh, good clarifying question. Yes. Because yeah, you know me. I'm going to do the <laughs> wrong one. Jeez, that one and a half looks like way more than one and a half. Did I measure one and a half? Yes. <laughs> oh, my. I can't, I can't help you with that. Your screen's too small. I can't see. <laughs> well, there is a cut. There's a slit. All right. Terry says, this is like math and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Renee says, uh, yes, I'm sorry. You don't have all the lines. That's about your scoreboard. Meg says, which is top? So you want one and a half inches from the top so the the length that you're cutting along the five and one quarter inch line should only be an inch and a half and that will be the top delise can you hold so your yours? slit because you did it right. yeah so your your slit is going to be one and a half deep yep the half inch glue tab that's going to be your far right so remember we scored our lines at two and five eighths and then five and one quarter so it's along that five and one quarter score line that you're going to cut along so here's my first score line this one is my second and there's the slit that is one and a half inches deep and yeah. then there's my third score line and my little now we know it's a glue tab. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, come on. I did not. That's, you, you knew that was a glue tab already. Oh, I got to be more careful about what I say. <laughs> don't, don't squeeze extra info out of me. <laughs> you did it. You just, you just randomly said it. <laughs> okay. Let me know in the chat if you need me to um, pause a bit more. I think I think everybody might be ready, but I'll I'll give it a second. Also, if you know where we're headed, and you think you might have a guess as to what we are making, maybe hold that in <laughs> until the end, and just just make a little mental note on which clue number you know you knew by. Um, that way we keep it a nice surprise for even folks who are watching on the replay. Okay, we are just cutting to that mark and stopping. Yes, that's correct, Alicia. So you're just cutting that one and a half inch line along your five and one quarter score line, and that's it. And that's going to be the top. <laughs> Stacy says, first timer, I'm totally surprised. 
Um, well, you never know, Stacy. It may be a card you've you've seen before, since since nobody knows what we're making. <laughs> okay, I think I see lots of readies, readies, readies. Uh, I have Becca says I have no idea what we're making. I love surprises. Good. Well, we're only on the second clue, but I wanted to say it early because I know at some point somebody is going to recognize this. <laughs> All right. Next clue, clue number three. Now we want to score a di diagonal line from the top of the two and five eighths score line down to that pencil mark. So the bottom of your cut, from the bottom of your cut to the score line that is at two and five eighths at the top of your card. So, let me know anyone who needs if you need a little hint from the top of the two and five eights yep to the score mark to the score line which so I, this is going to be a diagonal course, line i yep. do I, I erased <laughs> well you might have erased it but it's going to be at the bottom of the cut that you made so from the top of your two and five eighths inch score line you want to score down to the bottom of the slit that you made or if you still have your pencil mark there then then it's at your pencil mark if you think you might know what it is just say you you think you might know but don't say your guess <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. Looks like Delise is ready. Let me know in the chat um, if you need more time or if you're ready. Does is anyone does anyone have big plans for New Year's Eve? Who's who is staying up till midnight? I'm just curious. Delise, are you staying up? Nope. <laughs> that, was a, that was a fast answer. <laughs> well, my husband asked me, he said, let's do something different this year. What do you want to do? And I said, let's go back to, let's go to sleep at 8.30 at p.m. And we agreed that that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Alicia's going to try to stay up until midnight. Um, Heather's going to try to be crafting at midnight. Jay says, I might stay up, but I don't have big plans. Okay, uh, I missed a question. Okay, Stacy says, how do you get it lined up on the scoreboard? Okay, so what you want to do, Delise, do you think you could demonstrate? So um, what I ended up doing was, um, so I pulled that, that lid and looked for my mark, right? where my one of my lines were in my craft board right and then i just kept my fingers there and kept rotating it until i got to the start of where i wanted does that make sense stacy let, let us know if that helped so again i like pulled a little bit like Let's, let's do it with this side. I don't know if that's what we're doing on that side or not. But, like, I look for that mark and a line, a score line. And I held my finger there. And then I rotated holding that side until I was able to find the same score line. And then I was able to score it. Okay. And then we have a... Um... Request from Renee to go back to clue number two. So clue number two, Renee, is on the screen now. And that is along the five and one quarter inch score line, you want to mark one and a half inches down from the top and cut along that score line from the top to your pencil mark. So the cut you make should measure one and one half inch. So hopefully that gets you caught up. Um, let's see. Pulling. Okay. Stacy, are you set? Are you good? Oh, that's a good idea. Crafty Days says 
I didn't use the scoreboard. I just used a bone folder and a regular ruler. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah, you could do that too. You could connect your, <laughs> just use any straight edge and can, you know, um, put one, one edge of it on the um, two and five eighths score line and then put the other edge on at the bottom of that uh, cut and then score. Great idea. Yeah, especially if you have like a mouse pad or something like squishy, like I have this um, silicone mat and you do it on top of that silicone mat, mm -hmm. it's going to give you enough give to get a score line nice and deep. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, oh, and Heather is using her uh, envelope punch board to score. That works too. <gasps> oh, that, that, that is too. so smart. Yeah, because it has the diagonals already. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay, so I'm going to keep going on to clue number four. But we can always go back if you need. Clue number four is score a diagonal line from the top of the seven and seven eighths score line down to your pencil mark. Which Delise, just jumping the gun, <laughs> did oh, a sorry. second ago. <laughs> hey, Terry, what book were you reading? What was your last book reading for 2022? I need a new book. Okay, Terry says, my big plan is to have pizza and Vizzy's. I don't know what Vizzy's is with my daughter. And then we're finishing reading our last books for the year to make our goals for 2022. Nice. Yeah, let us know if you have book suggestions for us. I just finished reading 15 Minutes by Jody Picoult. Holy moly. That was deep. Oh. what's it about yeah. um so it's called 15 minutes and it is how long it took for a shooting at a school oh that that sounds yeah that sounds it's like it's gonna very well go written it goes yeah it goes back and forth in timelines but it's a really good book oh Okay, Terry says Vizzy's is a brand of hard seltzer. Oh, oh I'm Sounds putting nice. it in my list. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to be making a book list, not an alcohol list. <laughs> <laughs> making a list, checking it twice. <laughs> hmm. no, no to the whipped vodka. Yes yeah. to the Lizzy. <laughs> Oh, you're so funny. Okay, it looks like a lot of folks are ready. So I am, I'm throwing up one of Terry's uh, suggestions here. She said her last book is uh, Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. So, uh, and then Meg says, um wow that is deep definitely not for all of us yeah for sure yeah it took me it's not a very long well, book it's kind of, it, but it it took me i had to take breaks while reading it it was yeah it was, heather it, says it nope deep. can't do that one lived it sorry you had to live through something like that i think she's talking about the whipped vodka heather are you talking about the whipped vodka I don't know. Is she talking about your book? Um, <laughs> Meg says about your alcohol is going to find out if you're naughty or nice. Uh, Meg <laughs> also loved Mistborn. Okay, so that's two votes for Mistborn. Ooh. Um, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and move on to clue number five. Okay, so here what we want to do is you want to fold number one. So it forms a box. So along the original first set of score lines, you want to fold on those score lines. The half inch glue tab will go on the outside back of the box and the two triangles you scored are in the front. You want to fold those two diagonal lines forward over the front of your card. Don't glue yet. <laughs> I should, next to all of these like parentheticals, I should just do comma release. Delise. <laughs> <laughs> Don't glue yet, Delise. I know Don't you like glue. to. I, I love my glue. Yeah. 
By the way, I think I know what we're doing. Oh, okay, Delise, she might be clued in as early as number five. No guesses, don't put guesses out there though. Um, oh, you got another book suggestion from Barry. Ooh. Book that I loved is The House, the and, house the and the, oh no, I can't pronounce that. Barry, that one is in my list. Okay. Do you know how to pronounce it? So, the, the, no, no idea. Okay. But somebody um, mentioned it to me, and you're the second one, Barry. So I may need to um to look into that. Oh, cerulean C, cerulean C. That word I can pronounce. <laughs> Also, Michael Connolly is great. I'm reading through the Harry Bosch series. Oh, there's a lot of books out there. I, I guess I just haven't really been reading a lot because I go back and read some of my favorites, but I really should read some new stuff. Um, okay, so Delise looks like you're ready. Let me know in the comments if if uh you need more time but yeah it doesn't sound i think we're about 50 50 in terms of who is staying up till midnight <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds like it sounds like most people aren't like going out to do something if they are even if they are staying up <laughs> oh we got lots of readies okay lots of folks ready okay let's move on to clue number six all right, so you want to attach piece number two. That was part from, cut from pattern paper number one, and it should measure two and one half by four and one eighth. So you want to attach that to the inside back of the box. So remember I mentioned the glue tab is the back of your box and it's going to get attached to the outside back so in terms of if we're counting the section numbers that you are attaching this pattern paper to it's section number one and number four and you want to attach it to what's going to be the inside back so if it helps form your box so that you can see what the box looks like and identify what's the outside of the box and what's the inside of the box. So, and if you need a hint, just let me know. It's funny because I think this is the actual type of card that I bookmarked the other day to give it a try. Oh. So I am excited. <laughs> Oh, that is kind of sounds like maybe I'm weird right and awesome. Mind. Yeah. Now you can scratch that off your bookmark list. <laughs> I know I have so many cards that I want to try. So many folds. So little time. Oh, Terry says, Kathy, oh, Kathy, I can't pronounce her last name. It's another favorite. Her books are what the TV show Bones were based on. I love oh. the TV show, but I oh haven't. Oh, my God, I love Bones. Have you read the books, though? The books no. That based on? Yeah, me either. <laughs> I mean, I think I knew, I knew that they were um, a book series or based on a book series, but... I did not actually read them. Oh, looks like I was a little bit worried about you, Delise. <laughs> but I think I just saw what you did and it looks looks like you're good. <laughs> I was like, that girl's putting glue down awfully fast. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I gotta glue it down so it makes uh, me feel good about myself. <laughs> yeah, I was like, um, what's happening with her? Okay. Glue, 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 glue. Okay, we got, we got lots of readies. 
I think those are new readies. Um, Terry says, if you have Audible, you can get these there. Oh, oh, that's a, what a great idea to listen to a book on Audible as you craft. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to move on to clue number seven. Okay, so you want to take one of your um, piece number four. That was cut from pattern paper two, and it measures two and one half by four and one eighth. So just we're working with just one of them. Along the right edge, mark one and a half inches down from the top. Then what you want to do is cut from the top left corner down to your pencil mark. So you're making a diagonal cut from the top left corner of that piece to your pencil mark on the right edge which should be one and a half inches down from the top. Nobody has needed hints. That's fantastic. Last time, last time there were, <laughs> I must not have written the clues very well. <laughs> okay, I, we have, um, okay, Stacy. So you wanna take one of your piece number four and that's the piece that is from pattern paper number two, and it should measure two and a half inches wide by four and one eighth inch tall. And we're only working with one of them right now. So you want to take that piece and it's four and one eighth inch tall. OK, so that's that's how you know um, how it will be oriented along the right hand edge of that piece you want to mark a line that is one and one half inches down. And Delise, maybe you could hold up your, there you go. So you wanna make, can you put those together like as if before, yeah. So you wanna make a uh, pencil mark at that point where, uh, where Delise's thumb was. <laughs> scooch, scooch a little to the right if you could. Oops, yeah. sorry. No, that's there perfect, that's perfect. Yep, so see how along that right hand edge, one and a half inches down, you wanna make a mark. And then you want to cut from the top left corner. I don't know if Delise has enough hands to, <laughs> there you go. Top left corner down to your pencil mark. All right, Stacy's got it, beautiful. Becca, let, let me know if you're, if you're good. Delise, you're doing really well. Good job. <laughs> I, I, I am very surprised too. <laughs> so I, it does it doesn't doesn't it doesn't make me upset that you sound surprised. <laughs> oh, I'm not I'm not super duper surprised. I'm kidding. <laughs> I am surprised. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Lots of folks done. Okay, I'm gonna move on to number eight. Now you want to take your other piece that's remaining, your other piece number four, and you want to do the reverse of that. So along the left edge, along the left edge of that piece, you want to make a mark that is one and a half inches down from the top, and you want to cut a diagonal line from that pencil mark to the top right. So you're doing the mirror of the previous piece. Remember, this piece is two and a half inches wide by four and one eighth tall. Oh, I haven't been saying in the clues to erase pencil marks. <laughs> now that I see Delise doing it, uh, <laughs> don't forget to erase your pencil marks as you go. Oh, good. Okay, we got some folks done with that stop. Oh, we're flying, folks. What? <laughs> All right. I am. I'm gonna move on because um, I think most people 
will probably be ready. So now you want to attach number four to the outside front of your box. So if we're counting, that's going to be sections two and three of your card base. And again, if you need to form your box just to see, you know, you know what's the inside and what's the outside, um, do that. But basically these pieces should go under the triag triangle flaps. I was gonna say triagonal. It's like that's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> under the flaps. <laughs> under the flaps. <laughs> Is that worse? I don't know. <laughs> so how many folks in the in the chat think they know what we're making? Don't don't And say have you made it before? Yeah, don't say what your guess is. Just, just I'm curious to know if anyone recognizes what we're making yet. And yeah, and if you've made it before, Delise. So I'm guessing, have you made it or have you not made this before? I have not. Think, I have it in my to do. Me. Yeah, I I have it in my to do to try it. It seemed like a fun kind of fold card, but then I don't know what happened, you know. <laughs> it it seemed a lot more complicated than this. Yeah, it's not it's not hard, is it? No, um, it's not. Welcome, Brenda. No worries. Um you can always you can always uh rewind the live stream if you want to catch up real quick, but we are pretty far along. <laughs> All right, so I am gonna see, I think, Yep, we're getting some more folks who are ready. Oh, I'm excited. So far, so far, not a lot of, I haven't seen anyone besides you, Delise, who, who thinks they recognize this. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Because, you know, us crafters, everybody knows everything. <laughs> it's so hard. I uh, know. So hard to pick these. Okay, I'm going to move on to clue number 10. Um, but holler at me in the chat if you need me to go back a step. Okay, so now with clue number 10, what you want to do is take one piece that of your number three. So that was from pattern paper number one, and it measures two and a half by one and three eighths tall. So two and a half wide by one and three eighths tall. And what you want to do is cut a diagonal line from the top left to the bottom right. So two and a half wide, so just so that you know how to orient this, two and a half wide by four or one and three eighths tall. And you wanna cut from the top left to the bottom right. And this should give you two triangles. Terry says, I'm clueless, clueless as to what we're making. Yay. It's You're nice gonna when... love it, Terry. Terry is such a fun card. It's nice when we can surprise folks. It's a lot of pressure, actually. <laughs> 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 um, so we only need one of these triangles. So if you want, you can um, set the other one aside. Um, Becca Does says it matter which one? They're identical, but I mean, if it matters to you in terms of the pattern, oh, yeah. the, the shape should be identical, but in terms of the pattern, I don't know if you'll want, you'll prefer one over the other. Okay. Um, yay. I'm glad this is, um, at least so far, not recognizable. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Becca says it's new to her too. Yay. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna move on to clue number 10 because um, this is, wait, were we at 10 already? I think I'm moving we're on to- We're on 10. To, yeah, okay, we're, now we're on clue 11 and you're basically going to do the reverse. So you take the leftover piece of number three and this is important, you wanna cut from the top right to the bottom left. So you wanna reverse your cut. And again, um, you can take one and set one aside, but you should basically have the mirror of the other triangle piece. So you're gonna get two triangles and they're gonna be the same size and same orientation, but we only need one of each. And so you can, if you make this card again, you can use those other cuts on a second card. So anyone in the live chat, write a one if you have watched The Midnight Club in Netflix. I've never even heard of it. The mid. Oh, I have heard of it. I've only seen one episode. Anyone? Anyone? So at one point in the, it's a, it's a one season series so far. And at a one point, I was just using my 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 cutter. My I call them guillotines in Spanish. They're guillotinas. So I call them guillotines. The first time I used that word, someone looked at me like I was a crazy person. And I just cut it so fast, and it reminded me of the series because the one of the characters in the um in the series cuts themselves cutting paper in a in a paper guillotine like this. Oh. And when they when they show the cut, I'm like, my husband and I were both watching, and I'm like, okay, that is so unrealistic. They did not do the research for this <laughs> because if you cut yourself with a, with a paper guillotine, your cut would never look like that. And he looked at me, I'm like, yeah, experience talking? And I'm like, yeah! I'm like... <laughs> Perform. I have done it multiple times and it has never looked like that. It makes no sense. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's another good, but it's really, really dark series. So, yeah. Um, yeah, because that's about, well, I won't say it because Netflix or YouTube doesn't like when we talk about sensitive topics. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, Stacy. Stacy just cut the color of the base. Oh, what happened? Sorry, I missed. I was doing my cuts uh, when I left Stacey, my glasses. Stacy, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> um, maybe. How do we fix that? Any any inventive solutions? Because you already have stuff that's glued, right? Um, I mean, I guess you could. You know, the one noodle. thing that I would say was do the exactly the same cut on the other side. So it looked like you did it on purpose. <laughs> there so you, you go. Still, so you still have a symmetrical look. Yeah, or you could do this. I, I like Brenda's suggestion, um, scotch tape, and then combine that with Crafty Days's, just put the other piece over it. So you can just scotch tape them back together as if you never cut them. Because we are gonna layer over it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so I think you'll be good. Cause here, we'll, we'll do 11. I mean, we'll do clue 12. Glue the two triangle pieces <laughs> from number three and those should fit on the triangle flaps <laughs> on your base, your card base. So, um, so you can just glue your number three piece down and then attach whatever portion of the um, collar, the triangle uh, card base to make it whole again, so to speak. Hope that makes sense. Oh my. Ooh. 
Oh, upset puppy. Upset puppy. She doesn't like my backyard neighbor. Like, oh, at all. Really? At all. Oh. Why? Well, they're sleeping behind it. They are not nice people. <laughs> you know, dogs, dogs are very good readers of character. Yeah, like that's they, true. they, they really. Um, um, those they're not the nicest people out there, and my dogs don't like them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta trust your, your dog's instincts for sure. Okay, I am improvising a little because I did not actually prepare these triangle pieces in advance. <laughs> Oh, Lynn. That's okay. Delise, are you, are you done? You're ready? Oh, okay. I think so, yeah. I gotta catch um, up. Heather, if it makes you if it makes you feel better, the other day I was making this card and um I had already embossed I made the card front. Not the card front, the card base. And I actually embossed in the card base, which I usually don't do. I usually do that on a different piece. Mm -hmm. But I did that. And uh, then I wanted to die cut a, uh, a sentiment. And I wanted white, the shadow part of the sentiment to be white. And I grabbed my card base without noticing it was my card base and just ran it through. Oh, ran it through my machine. <laughs> oh, no. like, so you die cut? I die cut my car base. So yeah, oh. so I had to do the car base again, um, oh. do the embossing again, and I was like, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Whoopsie. <laughs> okay. Uh, question. Are the folded triangles the bottom of the card or the top? They are the top of your card. Just like how Delise has hers, that's the top. Beautiful. I, I think your papers are nice, Delise. I am actually liking them a lot like this. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got an oh no. Oh, <laughs> what no. happened, Heather? <laughs> If you glue them to the other side, you still have extra triangles to put on the top. Yeah, that's true, because the other ones are exactly the same. Yeah. Yep. Or you could use those. You might have to trim them down a little. Yeah, you might need to, if you, you could but use you the ones have... for the base and trim it down. Yeah. yeah. But there's the other set, which are... Yeah. Which are identical, so. Hope that yeah, helps, Renee. Really like Heather, let us like know if you on. need, if you need any extra time or. Oh, this is making if, a really if, bad. If we need to help you out of a pickle, <laughs> a little crafty pickle. Oh, there you go. Well, it's making a really ugly shadow. I moved it away. My cutter. Okay, much better. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh... Oh, Stacy, you're so sweet. Heather messed up only to make me feel better. <laughs> oh, oh, her oh no was was a um, was a response to your oh. mistake of die cutting your your <laughs> card face. <laughs> The funniest part was that Heather, I spent like five minutes before I figured it out that I had cut my card base. I was for five minutes looking for my card base. You're like, where's my card base? <laughs> like, well, how is my card base? <laughs> okay, Heather's good. Oh no, Renee cut them upside down. Um, uh, well, if you cut them upside down, does using the other set work? Now I can't. This is why I don't use directional paper. I really should when I'm making these clues. 
Okay, I'll give you a moment, Renee, if you need to. <laughs> if you need to um, recut something. So, Renee, you could also use the one that you used for, for the front here. You just need to cut a sliver out of it so it actually yeah. fits. Just cut a sliver out of the diagonal. I'm mm -hmm. going to tell you how much you need to cut. You need to cut 1 16th. Yeah, or, or Becca's solution <laughs> could be what you go with. <laughs> if you prefer the white card base showing, you can leave it bare too. And I think that mm -hmm. would look really good. I was going to do that. That's why I didn't have anything prepared, but I decided to go ahead and attach something. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could also do some ink blending. Just yeah. turn it. So when you're ink blending oh. it, turn it inside out and just ink blend those two pieces. And then when you fold it, that's, that's the true. only part that it's going to look in yeah. with the ink. Yeah. And come Meg's away. got a great suggestion. Um, she said use the... I used the back. I had double-sided paper. Beautiful. Yeah. So resourceful. Jay says, wow, this is looking cool. Yay. Glad you're liking it so far, Jay. <laughs> All right. I am going to, I'm going to go on to clue number 13, but happy to uh, backtrack if needed. Okay. So with, um, right now you can go ahead and set your card base aside. We're going to take uh, number five. And that was, you either cut that out of acetate or white cardstock, and it measures four inches wide by half an inch tall. Along the four inch side, you want to score at half an inch and three and a half. Of course, because I just put away the score pop. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Well, okay, half, half who told inch? you to do that? I know, and three and a half. So two little tabs. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just trying to get info out of me. I'm on that to was, your tricks. That was an innocent <laughs> comment. I swear. Uh -huh. I swear. <laughs> And th that's how we you don't even know the words <laughs> no we don't we say i'm the stuff in the sky <laughs> um what is that is that in sync or back no in sync or backstreet boys i right? have no idea that's why i don't know what it is <laughs> <laughs> oh good renee you figured it out yeah she said she was able to turn turn it over nice yay See? Crafters always have a crafty solution out of these pickles. Okay, so <laughs> Brenda says she knows Men Menudo songs. Oh. <laughs> That's our Ooh, point. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's what she means. Menudo. I, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I probably know some of their songs, but I just... Off the top of my head, don't know. Okay, we got some folks done with number 13. Done, done. <laughs> Brenda says, I knew you were gonna sing that one. So it doesn't sound like mo many people have either even heard of the Midnight something that you were making. Okay, so it's, it's really a dark series. It's but it's really but it's Did really you finish dark. It? But it's is it good? Really is it worth good. finishing? Um yes, I finished it. It probably would have taken me way less time than it took me if it hadn't been so dark. Like it's extremely dark. Oh. Hey Meg. So <laughs> um with this stop, you wanna take your piece number five, which was either acetate or just white cardstock, and it should measure four inches wide by half an inch tall. And then along that four inch edge, you wanna score at half an inch and three and a half. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Terry says, uh, oh, Meg's got it. I, I didn't need to explain. Um, <laughs> wish I had known we were going to sing. That's from Terry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Terry, you just have to know that with Delise, it's, it's kind of always a possibility. Yeah. She's got a great voice. Renee yeah, says, yeah, right. <laughs> thanks all, especially once we get some potato juice in you. you let those I know, it was too fly. early for the potato juice. <laughs> Renee says, thanks uh, all for the suggestions. <laughs> Since I just finished a quilting class before this one, I am taking the easy way out. Good for you. You, you do you, girl. It'll be perfect in the end. Stacey says, do you have the instructions to make the project again listed? I want to, oh yeah. So Stacy, um, when we're done, this is a PDF file. So what I'll do is post a link to where you can actually download the PDF. So you'll have the supply list exactly as what you're seeing on screen, but minus, you know, Delisa's screen and, and me. Um, so you'll have, the here this is what the pdf will look like it's just it's just the clues all the steps and the supply list so um so you'll have this to download for anyone who wants to maybe try this again and i'll have tutorials on my channel as well so um because I had to practice making this a couple times just to test out my clues. Thankfully, this time, because Kim couldn't join us, she helped me test. So I think that's why the clues are better. <laughs> I think I that's why the clues are better this time. It out. <laughs> uh, Terry says, I'm done with singing. Uh, may <laughs> I play my bass guitar? Ooh, you can play bass guitar? Would you rather have keyboard? Nice. <laughs> Terry can be like a full-on um, uh, one-woman band. <laughs> All right. I think I think a lot of us are 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 ready. So I'm gonna move on to clue number fourteen. And so now you want to um, take number one, which is your card base. And you want to look at it from the inside of your box. So open it up and look at it from the inside. So you should be seeing, if you're looking at it, you should be seeing um, your pattern paper number one that's a full rectangle. And that would be on the two far ends. And then that was an easy clue. So we're going to... We're going to go to clue 15. And you want to take that piece number five that we just scored. And yes, the two half inch sections are glue tabs. And you want to glue those glue tabs down on the inside front of the box below the bottom of the slit, the slit where our triangle is. The slit should be roughly, it doesn't have to be exact, but roughly centered with piece number five. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I think you're right. I, so your glue tabs are going to be face down. Okay. Um, folded. So you want to fold in your glue. Oh, I should have said that. Fold in your glue tabs, put, and they're going to attach face down. So you, you only want to put glue on those half inch tabs. And you want to position it so that it's below that bottom slit. So your positioning is right. And Okay, so I guess my question is, here, first question of the group. All right. Okay, so my question is, when I fold it, see, yep. I'm folding it. Yep. Am I gluing it like this, or am I just folding it so it's and just gluing it straight like this? No, you want to fold your tabs like you had it, and then glue them. Yes, I can't ah. see, it, but your your glue tabs are yeah. Your glue tabs should be face down. You go only want to put glue. Go slow, Delise, in case anyone needs to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> Just Good luck, girl. Yep. And wait. 
Okay. That's exactly Here we right. Go. And then kind of center it up a little. Yep. And yeah. If anyone needed a hint, that was the hint. Okay. Terry says, oh, I didn't know you could do tambourines, Delise. Uh, we're a musical No, I family. can't, but I can play them. <laughs> All nine kids sing and play at least one instrument. Nice. They used to call us the Von Kellum family singers at church. That's awesome. That's so um, cool. Read. I'm not. I lip sync. I love it. I lip sync. <laughs> <sighs> That's hilarious. Uh, and they just says, no, you can't stop lying to the people. Oh, about playing tambourine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh, called out by your own sister. Anna, she knows. I'm terrible. Brenda says, that sounds like fun, Terry. Your family would be a hit at... How do I pronounce that, Delise? Parrandas. Oh my gosh, I can't do that. How, how does... Uh... <laughs> Parranda is like a posada, like the Mexican posadas, where they do, um, they go from house to house, and they just go and sing and eat your food and drink your drinks. Girl, you just use like two words I don't know. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like a parrandas is like a blah, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm still confused. Um, so posadas, posadas are like the Mexican. Parranda, which are Puerto Rican, which you really what you do is like you meet as a group out, out like out, out in someone's in front of someone's house. And you don't tell them that you're coming. You just surprise them with instruments oh, and you really? sing and you get in there and, the, and you, you literally get into their houses and you just eat their entire pantry and drink their entire liquids. Cabinet. That's hilarious. And so then you have grab those people. Member. Then you grab somebody else. Ah, my little sister. That's my little sister. Welcome, Judy. Judith. And then they come, they grab the people that they just went to their house and they take them to the next stop. And you keep doing this until you can um, drive or walk anymore. <laughs> Wait, so, but they're more than Christmas carolers because they eat your, your, they eat your food and drink your drinks. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Because they get <laughs> inside your house. Oh, they they it's come really... in. Wow. Oh Hi, yeah. Kendra. It's hard to. You, it's hard to get them out unless you convince them that you want to go to the next house. That's hilarious. Has yeah. anyone seen? Did anyone see the new the new um a Christmas story? With with the kids, like it was the original cast. Most most everybody from the original cast now the kids are all grown up. It was pretty no. good. Yeah, they have. Is it a Netflix? It. It's oh geez, I don't know. We have so many streaming things. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, but it's funny because there's a scene in there where the original mom from the first A Christmas Story, some carolers are like on their sidewalk about to cross their house but haven't turned up to their door yet and she's like ducking and covering <laughs> to pretend <laughs> like she's not home <laughs> so that they won't stop and oh. <laughs> hbo um, max thank you all thank you um and, <laughs> and she says she says to um her son who's all grown up now and uh and his wife you guys go you know i'll take the hit <laughs> you know? i'll take the hit oh. cuz they spot her through the can through the window and so they start coming up to her door to start singing and she's like you guys go save yourselves <laughs> yeah i i think i think parrandas was one of my favorite things to do when we were little yeah that's hilarious. Oh my, yeah, that's so. 
Alicia reminded me. It was hilarious because the the daughter in law, she's like, What's the big deal? Carolers are so that's so awesome. I love this tradition. And I think she was a caroler as a kid. And the mom turns to the son, How could you? Like, how could you marry a Christmas caroler? Kind of. <laughs> and the daughter in law is about to go to the door to open it for the carolers, and the mom trips her. <laughs> like outright trips her. And she's like, <laughs> just like flat out falls to the floor. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was funny. <laughs> hey, Kendra's here. Hi, Kendra. Yep, Kendra's here. Hi, Judith. Welcome. I was on my phone, couldn't type. Yeah, it's tough. Um, it's tough to do that. Um, okay, sorry. I had to. We we <laughs> diverged a little bit about. <laughs> A little bit of the tangent over there. A little bit of a tangent. Okay. Moving on to clue number 16. Okay. So you might need to do this. Sometimes I've had to. Sometimes I haven't. But you might need to trim a little bit off from your card base on the opposite end of your half inch glue tab. Um, so you may as well just take like a little sliver off of it now. Just of the tab? Try. Not of the tab, the opposite side of the tab. Why? <laughs> well, because when we fold this, um, oh. and you can check right now, when we fold this, the glue tab is going to wrap around to the outside. So okay. if, if you know, just depends on how your it. folds are, you know, it might cross over that score line. So My folds are perfect. Are what are they? you talking about? <laughs> Are they really? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> no, but it's not. It's not like a matter of um, how you scored. It's just you know when you fold a score line, sometimes it's a little bit on this side of the score line, sometimes it's on you know the other side. So um, so it happens, you know. So that's why I said you know uh, you may not need to, but if you want to just take a sliver off now, just in case. Um, you can do that and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a sliver off. I almost glue the tab. We're not gluing the tab yet, people. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know you with your glue. That's why at every point I'm like, don't glue yet. Don't glue yet. <laughs> yeah, but you stopped warning me. Don't glue yet. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Any minute, we're going to glue that glue tab that she mentioned in the first step. <laughs> uh, Renee, hi. The, um, the triangles are for the outside. So your two triangle flaps should fold down in front. And you want to put your triangles on. Oh, yeah. Delise can show us. There you go. And... Uh... <laughs> Thanks, Delise. Kendra says I'm yep. going to have to watch the replay. <laughs> I've missed a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty far. We're pretty far in. But um, this time around, we're not. We're not taking guesses. Although, if anyone recognizes what they think we might be making, so far, Delise is the only one who thinks she knows. Um, but I've asked. I'm 100 percent sure now. I've asked for no guesses so that we keep this nice and. Um, secret for those watching on replay. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next clue. This is number 17. And now you can glue the half inch tab to the outside of the box. So your glue tab should not, should not cover any of your pattern paper. It's gonna wrap around to the back of your box. And, oh, we have yeah. guesses now. Okay, Barry is 100% sure. Meg thinks she knows. Jay's loving your paper, by the way. Um, Jay, this is, let me, let me glue the tab first and then I'll show you. It is a Making Memories scrapbook pad 
funky vintage ruby collection from 2007. <laughs> 2007. Yeah. 2007. And I bought it on clearance at Target when Target had red labels, which made easier for us bargain hunters to find the clearance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. No, no guesses in the comments, please. <laughs> If you think you know, keep it to yourself so that folks watching on replay have a nice surprise as well. And even if you guess, I won't be confirming or denying anything. <laughs> okay, so Stacy says she fixed the color. Yay! Um, that's fine. She says, but the whole inside is... <laughs> uh, I'll be watching replay. Yep, good. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, I've said box from the very beginning, folks. <laughs> I've said box very early on because that's there's just no way to hide that. Um, especially when we're talking like what's the inside and what's the outside. Okay, I think I think everyone might be with us. So I'm gonna go on to. Did I skip two? Yes, I skipped. Okay. Number 18. So you want to use piece number six. These are those half inch acetate or white cardstock strips. Those are um, going to be pop up stands that you can then attach your focal images, which are your number seven pieces. And on the other end, they will attach to number five, which were the pieces that um, the piece that we glued to the inside front. So when you open your box, um, you'll note that number five will curve. So I don't know. Can um, Delise, could you hold yours up to just demonstrate that? Oh, I don't know if she's still. I think she went to grab something. Um. I'll show it. I <laughs> I forgot that I have a camera. Uh oh. There's a little bit of an echo. Delise, I think your your headphone might be picking me up. My headphones died. Oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> okay, folks. So um when mine's acetate. Did you do yours out of Gonna be hard to show. Um, let me see. So this piece here, that's my curved piece. So when it's closed, it'll close flat, but when you open it, it'll actually be curved. I should have done it out of white cardstock would have been easier to see <laughs> but that's your piece number five you want to take your um, half inch strips let's pretend this is a half inch strip so you're going to attach one end to your piece number five and then you're going to attach the other end to your focal image so hope that helps and I think Delise might be trying to get her earbuds recharged. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, let me know if that makes sense to everybody. Or can you still hear, hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. I unfortunately my headphones are dead in the water. Give Aww. me one second. I'll. I'll ask for help. Um, I think your audio is okay. Yeah. And we're kind of close to the finish line here, folks, because 
and you can you can decide how far up how far down you want things all of that is totally up to you and okay so i think my image is way too big for what i need to do oh what's your image tech support for delays yeah See, it could be up to five and a half, right? No. Um, it can't be a full, because it has to fit inside your box and still be able to fold flat. So. And this is where you can kind of, I mean, you can really have fun with this part. This is where these guys are going to save me. I'm going to, are those pre-cut? Yes. Oh, how nice. That's so, yes! so convenient. <laughs> um, oh, so wow. this is why I, I couldn't exactly give, <laughs> I know folks wanted to know how, how long they want the, you know, the, how long these strips need to be kind of hard to say well you could also because it's um this is five and five and a quarter wide right so like if we wanted we could make it be five and a quarter tall and put it in a square envelope exactly because that's one of the things it just depends on whether you want to try to keep this small because it does fold like if you keep totally within just the um the card base it will fold down to usa2 but if you don't mind making like a custom envelope or just putting it in a larger envelope you could definitely have your pieces pop up um taller than the back of your box and like Dilly said, just put it into like a larger. Yeah, a larger. even even a like an A6 or a five by seven. What's A6? What's the size of A6? A6 is. Mm. Is that the four by six? Mm. Yes. Four by six. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, that won't. This won't fit in A6. Isn't it? Not if you... Not if, well, it will, but not if you go taller. Oh my god, these ones are stickers! Oh, they're stickers! There's some sticker ones. This is That's just a nice fun. paper pad. Yeah, right? Let me pull this one. Brenda says, grab a big tag and layer little pieces on it, Delise. Yeah, I did a couple on uh, one tag at least. There's my tag, so I'm thinking I can do that. And then it has tiny little button paper buttons. Do you guys see oh, these? Oh, that's adorable. These are so cute. I'm gonna pop them so I can put some thread, of course, because everything was too easy until here. <laughs> I think everybody in the chat's just having fun attaching things to their. I know. <laughs> I can't wait to see everyone's. So I'm using Scrappy Boy, our favorite redhead. I've turned my camera on just so I can show what I'm doing. Um, so it is an option if you want to actually put... Um, multiple little bridge pieces going across here. So I know I made mine out of acetate, so it's hard to see, but I actually have two so that I can have Lucy behind this table. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> I know, right? I may need to repeat this card. She's bouncy. I, I wanna put, 
And then you could even like on your on on the back of your box if you wanted to like fill out the scene even more you could even glue directly to that because that's what i think i'm going to do with this piece is i'm going to glue this behind here and so when the box is open she's going to be kind of in between so i've got a little foreground a little mid ground and a little background yeah i think that's what i would do so I'll definitely need to put this into a larger, let's see, five and a quarter by one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I just, I put her a little too high. This is just over six inches. <laughs> so I'll probably have to put this in a six by six. Delise, did we lose your audio? I'm here. I'm just quiet. Oh, I was like... What's happening? I'm playing with my fibers. Oh, you have so much good stuff. That's cool. Barry says, I love that Scrappy Boy stamp set. Aw, thanks, Barry. He said my coloring was amazing. Aww. I I did not color on the fly. I colored in advance. I can't color on the fly. <laughs> so I I'm going to attach a little... Right one of my point. piece elements so the nice thing about these um, bridge pieces the way that they are um, attached is that it's because it's curved everything is sort of facing um, a little bit more like front and center because this point is our front whereas when I go to put this it's going to be facing this way because it's going to be on the side but if I wanted, I could attach like a third bridge piece, but I don't think I will. Will I? No. <laughs> will I? <Maybe. laughs> I'm like, should I? Maybe. Maybe I should. I think I will. <laughs> oh, people. <laughs> Why am I so indecisive? Oh my god. I love this. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, Stacy, no worries. Happy New Year's to you. Bye. Thanks for joining us. So fun getting Bye, to craft Stacey. with you. I can't wait to see your final card. So whenever you get it done, um, folks, share share to the crafty fun. I wonder if I can do this. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Do it. What are you doing? I am just gluing a sentiment to the front but just i just put glue on the two sides and i'm gonna place oh yeah because it'll it's gonna basically do the same yeah it's gonna pop Oops. it's gonna oh, do the same bowing yeah to give it a little bit of a tiny bit of extra space and let it dry yeah okay Dun, 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 dun. That's kind of fun. I don't think I have a sentiment ready for my card, so my but I'll I'll put one on before <laughs> before I post it. I wonder if I think my my acetate it's too flimsy. So I am gonna go with plan B. Which is oh um, yeah, I should have said strong, strong acetate. I think you did. I oh just... I did. I don't know that I did. Um, I'm gonna speed through. So 19 is just to attach your sentiment and embellish as you wish. You can always add more pop-up stands. And congrats, you just made a tuxedo pop-up card. So tuxedo! I know, I know you guessed it pretty early, Delise. And I think Barry said at one point he was 100% sure. But mind you, the only reason was because I really wanted to make one. <laughs> and I have been like looking for um, tutorials that would be like easier to follow. And people were just going way too dramatic on how to uh, put the little bridge in the middle. 
Oh, really? Oh, my God. I was like, okay, I don't think I can do that. Oh. <laughs> well, that's... Because it's not hard. No, it's not. But maybe it's just not hard once you see it. <laughs> Thanks, Alicia, for joining. Uh, Meg says my acetate is too stiff. No, it can't be. The... The stronger, the better, because it. Oh yeah, the stronger. Mine's a little the floppy, but. Um. Fairy says, "Yep, tuxedo pop-up card." Okay, he guessed it. <laughs> yeah, tuxedo pop-up for the win. Yeah. Kendra says these are great. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to this just so we can see. Kendra, what, um, I can't wait to see what you're coming up on the second. Is it the first? Terry or says, "This is so cool. I'm playing with what is that? WPGO this year, and the two numbers called this year are box cards and slimline." on my board i'll be making more of these wait i don't know what w me neither pgo inquiring minds need to know terry can you <laughs> can you tell us more about that yes um i'm gonna add a third pop-up stand this is gonna be tough because my box is already closed up how do you how do you add do you put it higher or lower is that what you do yeah i'm gonna slide it lower But it's like, it's a tight, it's a tight fit. Because <laughs> you can do it the, in my best Dora voice. Well, the thing is, is that it has to be, it ha the, they have to be of different lengths. If you want them to be, you know, further or closer. Okay. So the longer your acetate bridge piece, the further back it will be. And the shorter your acetate bridge piece, the closer. Oh, we got some uh, naughty comments. If you <gasps> see naughty comments, please block. I'm going to block the couple that I see there. Um, thanks, everyone, for, for liking the stream. Because when you, when you do like the stream, it does help us to get out there. But that means sometimes um, we get bots. So just... Um, just squash the bods by blocking them. <laughs> um, Barry says I adorable. Like I need love to it. Add more. Heather says this was great. I almost caught up from restarting. Nice, Heather. Sorry that you did have to restart. Oh, okay, okay. Terry's explaining. So W. Oh, it's W I P G O. So W I P is work in progress and geo is bingo so works in progress bingo w i p g o <laughs> <laughs> but that's how it goes right i know sorry <laughs> um so she says she'll share share um in the group um and let's see um Becca says, have to go finish making dinner. Okay, thanks for joining us, Becca. We'll finish my card later and upload. Happy New Year to you. Thanks for spending time with us. Yes, thank you so much. And I'm copying a link into the chat for anyone who isn't already part of the Crafty Fun Facebook group. Um, when I do the live streams to Delisa's channel, I my comments come through as her, but um, <laughs> but that was me. Um, so let's see. Terry says basically a personalized bingo board for whatever crafts you want to work on throughout the year. Nice. And do you, uh, do you get assigned the bingo board? Like, is it a random draw or is it, um, do you pick your own or yeah. Do you put, do you make your, yeah. Do you make your own? Oh, that's. No, you can't make your own. Can you? Wouldn't that be kind of... Because you would do all the easy stuff. Well, but you still have to do it in a line. Oh, that's and true. The stuff that you want to try. That's true. 
and it's and you still have to make the same number so i guess yeah. yeah yeah but i'm yeah if you share that terry that would be awesome i'm kind of i've never heard of it so no me neither i think it'll be fun to so i i attached my um my third piece to another st i made a third bridge it's pretty far down there <laughs> And that way I can attach, that way I can attach this and it's going to face a little bit more towards the front. Yeah, this is fun. I need, okay. I need the help of some washi. Washi? Are you cutting something? No, I want, I want the tack to be perfectly placed there. So I'm washi taping it. Oh, uh, just to temporarily hold it? Yeah, so I know where to glue it to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you do make your own board. Terry says you make your own board. Cool. She's going to post a pick. And then the admin picks two numbers a month. Oh. Oh, oh right. Because somebody has to pick. That's true. Okay, yeah. You know, it's been a while since I've played bingo. <laughs> I forgot how it works. <laughs> Uh, Jay says, I'll need to make one of those and post it. They look fun. The card that we're making right now, Jay? Yeah, definitely. And the PDF will be available after the stream ends. So if you need the supply list with the rules and everything, um, or clues, I mean, they're going to be available. Um, trying to. Oh no! Oh no! What? What? I glue my bridge. I glue my bridge. SOS. <laughs> Did you really? You glued your bridge Got down. It. Got it. <laughs> Did you save it? Yeah. It was still a little bit, a little bit um wet. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. Um. Do not glue your bridge. Yeah, Kendra says that sounds really neat, Teresa. Jay agrees. Yeah, that's that. That does sound pretty cool. The bingo works in progress. Bingo. Yeah. I think. All right. So I don't have a sentiment, but basically flat. That's what my card looks like. Popped up. It looks like that. I love her. Jeez, She's your coloring is amazing. amazing. She's awesome. Best TV show ever. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this one here. Cool. So out. I don't know if folks, if anyone's done with their card, if if you want to take a quick photo and post it to the um, Facebook group, I can actually bring it up live and show your card if you want to um, yeah if you're finished let us see it yeah and jay did ask what sort of adhesive works with acetate and kendra's answer i like to use double side yeah double sided yeah. um tear tape that works really well um red line tape also pretty good basically any dry double sided adhesive would be my preference but i know some people do use a liquid adhesive it's just it will take forever because the liquid adhesive especially if you're using um like or any really liquid adhesive it, it'll just take a long time to dry yeah so, so i have used barely art because i am obsessed with it and but i am what i do is like if i'm gonna use something like that um i'll make sure it's the last thing jay that i glue and then I put a piece of acrylic with some weight on it, and I go to bed. Yeah. Like, yeah, you just have to give it. it that time. Yeah, you have to give it, like, a good, and I would say a good 24 hours. Like, it takes a long time. I, I can't my find that. I can't find my, my redhead stamp set. <laughs> Aww. What did 
do with it? I can't wait for that block hop. I know. So, um, oh, we're already full up. Uh, so <laughs> we are doing a Scrappy Boy blog hop later this month. Um, so definitely catch it. The sign up is full, but um, we would all love for you to hop along. And let me know also if you have posted your card to the Facebook group because I can I can bring it live on screen for us to all check it out. So love where your card is heading. Delays. You yeah, have a I lot of little goodies. <laughs> I love how you store it. <laughs> That's awesome. Most of these are like vintage threads. Oh, yeah. So here's what our um, Crafty Fun Facebook group looks like. So I don't see any shares yet. If you have not joined, join us. We have a lot of fun. We do. Yeah. Um, Jay says, sweet. I remember gluing it and having it fall apart in the mail. Oh, no. Yeah. That's, you just never, you never can tell sometimes. It's um, what glue works best. But that's why for stuff like this, I do like to use something strong. So a red line tape or um, score tape because um, that's a really nice brand. Can you drop a link to where the hop starts in the group? That sounds cool. Um, the hop is going to be over on Instagram. And so it's um, when we get closer, cause it's not until the 16th, Jay. So thank goodness the because 16th, I haven't started. Yeah, on the 16th, you'll see, you'll see lots of posts, I'm sure. <laughs> and um, so this was part of my Black Friday <laughs> shopping. Delise, did you see my, my haul video from Black Friday? Oh my God. Yes, I did. <laughs> you naughty, naughty girl. I know. That was, if I wasn't going to see anything. I didn't realize I was so good. You did really well. Um, I, okay. there I were just I'm too many good done. deals to, <laughs> I think I'm calling it done. Yay. It is flat. That's going to go on probably a, I think a six by six. envelope. Yeah. Or mine's... a, yeah, six by six envelope. And then, oh, nice. Cute. I really like it. See? Easy. Easy peasy, right? It was so easy. Yeah. So I still have to add a sentiment to mine, but that's that's mine. All popped up. Multiple stands. Lucy in the center. Table in front. Little table behind. Probably put a little sentiment on the front here. Um, I didn't have <laughs> pattern paper cut for this so i i did improvise and i used what was cut off from this piece just like the lace had suggested yep. and just trimmed a little bit off of that diagonal so you could always do that and and you know have um that look to it um tomorrow is the first yeah so i'll i have a video coming out tomorrow where i make one of these and so if you want to see um, an actual tutorial, then you can catch that video. And so I'll probably have more <laughs> videos like this because um, I did have to test out my clues a couple of times just to. I'll, <laughs> I'll catch the tutorial because I want to know how to do the extra bridges. Yeah, I mean, it's the same. Yeah, exactly. it just needs to be longer. Some shorter, some longer. Exactly. So if you're going to do, that's exactly it. So if you're going to do multiples, um, what I did was like this. So the one that I have the clue for is my middle one. 
So that was um, four inches. Mm -hmm. So you could do like a three inch. And then you could do like a four and a half or a five inch. Um, and you just want them to, um, I mean, technically you could actually stack them like one on top. Um, but you might get like, it might be a little bulky. So I stagger it a little bit. So I put like one here, one here, one here. So, okay. but once so it bends, it's, um, they should all have like different, um, because they're at different lengths, they'll curve, you know, the longer ones will curve more and they'll be more towards the back and the shorter ones will curve less and they'll be closer to the front. So, yeah. Okay, um, so I wrote down a number between one and 30 and whoever guesses it, first person that guesses it, I will, I will mail the card. Oh, a little giveaway. That's a surprise. <laughs> cool. Okay, so chat, um, guess a number between 1 and 30. And Delise will send her card to you. I guess the closest number? The closest number. Okay, so we have 17 from Judith. Which I'm going over, I guess. Okay, so let's let me read off the guesses. Don't say who's right just yet. So 17 from Judith, 21 from Barry, 18 from Heather, 13 from Meg, 23 from Brenda. Terry knows how to play the prices right. Wait, is it prices right? The one <laughs> she guessed number one, because you can't go over. Um Five from Kendra, 29 from Jay, the age I celebrate every year. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, Jay, here, here. <laughs> All right, I think that's a lot of guesses. Okay, so, Delise. Okay. Wait, you, did you write it down? Oh, good. Oh, I wrote it down. Okay. Wait, drum roll. I can't believe my sister guessed it. Wait, what was... I can't see it. <laughs> Can you hold it closer to your camera? 23. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Brenda. Right on the nose. Right, like... That's seriously? awesome. Okay, let's do that again. I'll give away my card. Okay, everybody, <laughs> do you want to put new guesses? Okay, yes, I'll write it down. Okay, new guesses, 1 to 30. I'll give away my Scrappy Boy card. And I'll write down my number now. <laughs> I'm like, seriously? <laughs> All right. New guesses in the chat. <laughs> oh, Brenda's going to have stain. <laughs> okay, closest number without going over... I will send, um, and I guess Brenda doesn't need to send you her address because you already know it. <laughs> yeah, but I got that one. Um, so I'll like I'll put I'll add a sentiment. That will be the last thing I need to do, and then and then I'll pop this card in the mail. What a great idea, Delise. Okay, so we have. Uh, oh, good. Thank you, Delise, for putting new guesses. <laughs> Heather guessed eight. Brenda, Brenda, you can guess. It's okay. Um, Judith, 6. Barry, 17. Meg, 28. Jay, 4. Terry, 5. <laughs> Renee, it's 1 to 30. <laughs> if you want to guess again. <laughs> um, Kendra, 15. Oh, Meg's going to post her card. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think that might be everybody. Let me wait. Meg, let me wait. know if you, when your card is up, and I can um, switch on over, and we can Renee, all take a look pick at your card one, live. One Thirty. There you go. Oh, it's already there. Hold on. Um, let me check that out, folks. Look at that. Look, Savannah. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my god, I love her popping out like that. 
Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Oh, I love it. Look at all the hearts. Oh my god. Popping by Savannah. Oh, that's beautiful. Great job, Meg. Meg, that love is it. adorable. Super love it. <laughs> uh Renee guess 22. Um lots of love coming in for Meg. Uh, it's cute. Love it. Heather says, how cute. Jay says, wow, very cool. Brenda says, love the sentiment. It's perfect. So very cute. Yeah. Oh, wait. Why am I scrolled down? There we go. <laughs> Let's leave that on screen. Um, Meg, yeah. Thanks. I'm so glad you had fun. Kendra says, so cute. Okay, ready for the reveal, folks? I wrote yes. it down. Show us. Um, yeah, it would help if I did that. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm like holding it here, <laughs> not okay. showing it. All right, number nine. So oh, nobody so guessed it on the nose, but I think we got Heather, it, right? Closest without going over number eight. She was the first guest too. I know. <laughs> All right, Heather, I have your address. So this card, once I finish it, will be on its way to you. And there's lots of room on the back, by the way, if this is where you could kind of write your message, you know, and all of that good stuff. So, <laughs> so there is some space to sign the card. I often forget about um, cards like these, like where, <laughs> where you sign it. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you so much for um, joining us for this mystery craft along. It's so awesome to get to end our year hanging out with all of our crafty friends. Yeah. And so um, thank you. I hope that everybody's 2023 is amazing. And I wish all the good things for everybody. Um, and if you want to make this card again, as I mentioned earlier, I'll uh, post the PDF in the event. Um, so I'll, I'll post it there. So just pop on over to the event page. And I know I have multiple event pages. There's one from the Crafty Fun group and one from my page as well. And I'll post it. I'll post it everywhere so you can download the PDF if you if you want to give this card, um, this tuxedo pop-up card, another go. And Delise, final final words. Well, I wanted to thank everyone last day of 2022. Thank you so much for the support that you guys have given us. And um, I can't wait for us to keep having fun together like this on the 2023. Yes. We have a few blogs set up. We keep doing these crafty funs. Um, I, I really have a blast doing them. So, Yay. and maybe next I'm... time we can pick a later date so I can start with my potato juice ready. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll do like a nighttime crafting so that you can have all the potato juice you need. Yes. <laughs> Lots. Thank you, everybody, for your um, New Year's wishes. And let's do more of these next year for sure. So bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>